Ready to race board is on though. Super Retro final here for round one of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship is underway. Great launch from the number 166 of uh, Barry then. And he manages to get himself away into the lead. It's side by side though, going down in towards that uh, first corner. Though. Is that John Cross who was on the inside by the looks of things? It's Alonso Stratos that leads the way the number 99. So good stuff there from him as he now has the advantage. Lots of dust being kicked up. It's very hard to pick them all out. But John Cross leads the way then from the... Uh, Porsche and then comes Josh Sturkins in third position who's getting it all sorts of sideways coming through the devil's elbow and now he is trying to challenge going in towards the uh, north bend at the top of the corner then so doesn't manage to make it stick there does uh, Josh Sturkins but still very impressive stuff from these drivers but Barry Stewart still sitting pretty in second position as they come through in towards that uh, final series of corners lots of action to take place and of course again as we have with the retro final just a few moments ago no joker lap for these drivers all the overtaking has to be done on track and Josh Sturkins is certainly trying to do that as they come through Chesson's Drift then he's trying to find his way through on the Porsche of Stewart but not able to find his way past so far no, and Josh Sturkins is going to go high and wide down Dover Slope onto the, the race circuit, the tarmac part of Lydon Hill. He is throwing the kitchen sink and getting past the, the Porsche ahead of him. But John Cross, meanwhile, in the VW-powered Lancia, is already at the top of the hill. So all of his squabbling for second and third is just helping the Baden Stoke man to get clear as Josh Sturkins throws the Mark 1 Escort onto the grass down the hill as well. He's really chucking everything at it. The Belgian visitor on uh, one of his many trips to Lydon Hill sadly been delayed his outings in retro by COVID and by, by the pandemic in recent months but he's back here today in the bank holiday weekend and he's looking at the rear spoiler of Barry Stewart's Porsche with Vince Bristow still for company as well. <laughs> Don't have to look far to find Whoa, Vince Bristow. Sturkins is all out of shape using every inch of his experience there to keep the car pointing in the right direction. It was heading to our commentary box at one point and again sideways through a devil's elbow. Sturkins is really, really ragged. He's wringing the neck of that Ford Escort as it uh, is at the moment. I wondered whether for a moment he might have some kind of suspension problems on the rear because it's so loose and so sideways. You'd think Vince Bristow was behind the wheel. <laughs> Vince Bristow in uh, fourth place in this race so far. He has been uh, a very spectacular driver to watch over the course of this one. He's got very close company in the form of Dave Ewan here in this race. They're on the penultimate lap already. And John Cross, well, what can we say about him in the number 99? Fantastic driving from him. We haven't seen him fighting up the top end of the field all day. And right when it matters in the final, he's come good. Yes, exactly that. He did say that he wanted the Stratos, but he thought it could be a beater of the Porsches, of the VW Beetle, which you've seen in the hands of James Harold in previous years. And now the Alarts is coming good. It's already at the top of the hill when these two, Barry Stewart and Jos Sturkins, are continuing their race-long squabble. This isn't lap two. This is later in the race. It's continuing this tussle between the two of them and Josh Sturkins all arms and elbows through the North Bend hairpin made it look a lot more difficult than it really should be through the right hander at the top of the hill but Sturkins is really working hard in the Mark 1. Very nice driving indeed John Cross then he's on the final lap then here and the chequered flag is about to be uh, waved, or will wave for him in about half a lap or so time. But the battle for second place is still very much on between Barry Stewart and between Jos Sturkins. Then can he find his way through Jos Sturkins? Will an opportunity present itself a little bit wide through Chessons there? But that gives him the defensive line for Barry Stewart. Jos Sturkins then trying to find his way back past. He's going to try and get on the power very early indeed. We cross over to look at the race leader. And they go side by side for second position. Stewart on the inside, Sturkins on the outside. He's not making it easy for him, is uh, Barry Stewart at the moment. And Josh Sturkins is really trying to find his way through, gets it sideways, but that's not the fastest way out of the corner. And it's going to be a day late and a dollar short then, sadly, for Josh Sturkins for taking second. But John Cross takes the win in the Super Retro final here for round one of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Ahead then of the Porsche 911 of Barry Stewart in second place and Josh Sturkins coming home in P3. Fourth place then is Vince Bristow. Fifth is Dave Ewan, sixth Paul Pasco, seventh is Davey, and ninth is Steve, pa and eighth rather I should say, is Steve Pasco then in the second of the Fords. But a very impressive result from John Cross, a victory in the Super Final.